seven tenth mark. So hopefully, I mean, second round, I think we'll be we'll be telling in terms of these conditions. Martins Bots, Roberts Plum from Latvia. They won the World Cup finale last year on the long track in San Moritz, Switzerland. They backed that up. Some people thought it was a fluke, but they backed that up with a top five on another long course last week in China. And they have the distinction here today of not only being in the seated group, but the super seated group and the last down the hill here in run number one outside of Sochi, Russia. Yeah, this is this is the worst draw to get uh, to be last. Um, but if the ice manages to hold, it, it doesn't really make a difference. So I hope these guys have a good run. I hope it'll it'll kind of give us an idea of, of what has been going on with the weather. But so far, pretty pretty clean run. As long as they can relax, he can keep his head back, um, and just let the sled do its thing. You can see he's he's controlling a little bit with his feet. Oh, geez. dang it! Excitement at the very end of this run as they, like the Italians a few sleds ago, have the problem early. They have the opportunity to get on the sled and they may have enough track. Well, this is the uphill section, isn't it, Kate? Well, it's right at the end. So they still might they still might have enough. Hopefully they do because um, because you want to have a second run, especially after a run like this. I mean, it's usually just it's a confidence thing, too, just to know like, hey, we can do this, we can come back from a bad run, um, and you can kind of just erase that first run. So, fortunately, this is just the growing pains of luge. <laughs> reaction right there. One oh, what a bummer. Yeah, one sled did not finish. They do finish with the 23rd out of 23 finishing times in terms of fastest and slowest, but they will get a second run. They'll start things off back-to-back -back runs in today's event. Yeah, that curve 10 just got them. They kind of missed their steers with the pressures and it just pushed their height. They just kind of stayed on the curve a little too long and it's uh, it's hard, it's hard. Once you're in that position, it's um, there's not a ton you can do. So they handled it well, Hope, good thing they're safe. Happy to see that they're still walking and um, yeah, I think they finished. So yeah, they did finish. So hopefully that second run, they'll be able to get their confidence back. Spots and plume. I'm pleased to reintroduce 2014 Olympian who had the time of her life here in Russia seven years ago from Team USA, Kate Hansen. Welcome back, Kate. Happy to be here. And yes, this track is bringing back a lot of memories. And unfortunately, there was a lot of issues with the first run for these sleds, but this is what Luge is all about. We've got a redemption run for their second, so I'm hoping that a lot of these athletes can find some speed. Bots and Pluma in a bit of a dubious streak going at the moment as they not only crashed in run number one, but they also crashed yesterday in the final heat of seated training. It's actually only a one heat race, but their final training run. Never a good mindset to go into the race. Just not looking that comfortable even in the early going, Kate. Yeah, it's hard to find comfort in sliding. I mean, especially in these tracks where it's kind of neutral. I mean, this is a home track for the Russians, but it's not necessarily one of the more popular tracks like in Germany where, you know, people have a lot more familiar, familiarity. Familiarity. So, familiarity. So to see these younger teams, I mean, it can be scary. Oh, was this the exact same place? It's not before? only the same spot they crash, it's the same spot where we saw most of the major mishaps. So uh, from bad to worse, unfortunately, for Martin Rabenis and his young Latvian team, as they crash in the final training run, they crash in the first heat of the competition, they crash and get disqualified here in the second run. Man, this is, I mean, let me just walk you through what they're thinking, because this is painful not only physically to crash twice in a day but also emotionally mentally to think like oh man we we didn't even make it down the track um and that's where it can hurt these athletes the most is mentally so hopefully they can regain their confidence